Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is a review of 15-4 and 15-5. 15-4 is the perpendicular bisectors of a triangle, the circumcenter, and 15-5 is the angle bisector of a triangle, which is the in-center. Okay, we'll talk about that as we get going along here. So, so uh, okay, so here we have uh, uh, segments KZ, LZ, and MZ. Okay, so this segment, this segment, and this segment right here are the perpendicular bisectors of this triangle right here. Okay, and so if they're the perpendicular bisectors, this guy is called the circumcenter, and it's the circumcenter of the circle that would go around and would hit all these vertices right here. Now, it says it's not drawn to scale, so I can't draw the circumcenter, but if that is the perpendicular bisector, then this is the center of the circumcircle that would circumscribe this triangle right here, okay? All right, so, um, and I can't do that because it's not drawn to scale. It would be way off. So here we go. So ZM equals 7. ZJ, the length of ZJ equals 25. And the length of HK equals 20. So we're going to find, uh, let's put those segments in right there. Okay, so let's find uh, ZH. So ZH is this guy right here. And um, uh, HG is this guy right here. Okay, let's do, uh, I think we're going to do ZJ uh, first right here, or ZH, sorry. So they gave us ZJ is 25 right there. So since it's the circumcenter right there, it's equidistant to all the vertices. So that's 25, that's 25, that's 25. They're just the radius of this circle that would go around uh, this triangle right here, okay? All right, so let's find uh, HK. So HK, remember the circumcenter comes from the perpendicular bisectors. Bisectors is our key word, so if it bisects, then it cuts this segment in half, so it's, that's 20, that's 20, so the whole segment's going to be 40. Okay, new problem, same picture right there. Whoops, I forgot. Uh, they've got some P-triples happening here. Now, they're not asking for this, you guys, but if they were, uh, uh, here we have 7, 24, 25, and if, you know, if they asked us for MJ, we can, we can use the Pythagorean theorem and get 24 right there, or we can know it's a P-triple, 7, 24, 25, and then that'll get us, uh, GJ also is 48 right there, okay, and here's another P-triple right here, 15, 20, 25, 3 times 5, 4 times 5, 5 times 5, okay, it's a 3, 4, 5 multiple right there, so we know that that's 15, and I don't see any other P triples happening in there, but just in case they asked us for that. Okay, all right, so here's the second one. So ZH this time. Okay, so ZH again is the radius because it's a circumcenter right there. And then MZ is, uh, here's MZ right there. That's 13. And HG, the whole segment is 136. So find, find KG. So KG is going to be that guy right there, and find ZJ. ZJ is that guy. It's a radius of the circle, okay? All right, so let's get the, that guy right there. It says that that's 136. It says that that's uh, 85, and that's 13 right there. I don't think we're using the 13 at all on this one, but anyways, we could... Uh, use the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so remember, um, perpendicular bisectors means this side equals this side, so they're both 68, so uh, because it's 136, so uh, so KG is a, is a 68 right there, okay? And then so since uh, Z is a circumcenter, then you got all the radiuses of the circle are equal, so 85, 85, 85 right there, okay? And it's not asking, we don't need that 13 there, but we could use the Pythagorean theorem to get this length right here, and, you know, and or get this length, and or get the whole length right there, okay, but it's not asking. Okay, so in triangle ABC, angle ACB is a right angle, and D is the circumcenter of the triangle. Okay, so if that's the circumcenter, then that radius equals that radius equals that radius of the circle that's going to circumscribe this triangle right here, okay? All right, so it says if CD equals 6.5, what is AB? Well, if that's 6.5, that's 6.5, and that's 6.5. So we add up the, um, uh, those two 6.5s right there, and we get uh, 13 right there. So a, AB is 13. All right, so here we have JV and KV, or the angle bisectors. Okay, the angle bisectors So when we get the in-circle. The in-circle, here's the in-center right here, and the in-circle would be this guy right here would be going all the way around and so it would be tangent to all the sides okay so what that means is this length equals 
this length if we drew a perpendicular segment equals this length if we drew the perpendicular segment. Okay, so let's go ahead and answer this. So find the distance from V to KL. So here's V, here's KL. It's the perpendicular segment. So since it's the in center, it's going to be the same as this distance right here. So it's going to be 7.3 right there. Okay, if it said V, uh, the distance from V to JL, it's also 7.3. Okay. Find uh, the measure of angle VKL. Okay, so here's VKL. It's this little dude right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and deal with this 19 right here. If that's 19, then that's 19, because remember, it's an angle bisector right there. So the whole angle is going to be 38. Now, we know a whole triangle adds up to 180, so if we do the uh, triangle sum theorem and we add them up to 180, we find out that 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 uh, third angle is 36 okay so if we bisect that 36 that'll give us both of these guys right there because it's the angle bisector so we find out that the angle of uh, VKL is going to be uh, that 18 half of 36 okay all right so find each measure uh, it says find the length of LM Okay, so here this says this is an angle bisector, okay, because these two markings say it's an angle bisector. This uh, right angle says that that's the distance from this point to this line. From this point to this line is a right angle, so this distance equals this distance. So um, uh, LM is also going to be 12.8 right there, okay? How about this one here? Same sort of reasoning right here. It, um, look, we have this distance is 74. This distance is 74, so what that means is um, since the distance from this point to this line segment is equal to this point to this line segment, this has to be the angle bisector. So if angle ABC is 112, then ABD is going to be half of 112. So that's going to give us uh, 56 right there. All right, if you guys are in our class, you're going to be getting a worksheet. All right, take care.